Hello everyone, welcome back to Fly Out Early Access, where I continue to try out this aircraft design simulator. I have figured out some things since the last time I made a video. First of all, in order to get wheel steering, I clicked set steering. I'm not entirely sure that was necessary or not, but uh, also down here in add responses, I clicked yaw, and that gave us this yaw field, and now it responds to my yaw control and so we can steer on the runway and not go off the runway. So that's helpful. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of settings here to figure out. And uh, so there was that. I've added some windows, as you can see. So that was with the procedural fuselage. Uh, you can add loop, and then basically it's like a loop cut in Blender. And so I added the loops in there, and I assigned the material to every alternating one for the windows. And so that's how we got the windows there. And I think that does it for the plane itself. However, I had a controller issue where uh, I was able to use my throttle quadrant, but not my joystick. These are two separate controllers. And the reason apparently is because the game only likes one at a time. So I, I had set up the joystick first and then the throttle quadrant and it just stuck with the second one. So the throttle quadrant. So now I've uh, gotten rid of the throttle quadrant. My joystick does have a little slider for throttle. So I'll just use that. Oh, and for some reason it's been going up like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll get to that in a sec. First of all, we can verify that the nose landing gear is actually turning with my yaw. Um, oh, I think maybe the settings have gotten messed up again. Well, I thought I had fixed it. Oh, 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 okay. It's still reading the thrall quadrant, and I need to zero out everything on the thrall quadrant. I see. Uh, if I try to not have everything zeroed on the throttle quadrant, we have issues. Okay, let me go back and change the main landing gear so it doesn't steer. And then I think we'll be all good. I just need to make sure that the throttle quadrant has everything in the middle. Not zero. It's actually at 50% on all three levers. That That's not unusual. Unity has this issue sometimes that the throttle quadrant has to be zeroed out. Oh, another thing I had fixed while I'm here is the direction of the retraction. Uh, it's just this slider here. So I decided to have them retract like that, which is nicer. Okay, uh, let me see if I can fly the plane. Flaps, I'm still a little bit confused about because apparently the flaps are a axis. Yeah, don't, okay. Oh, we can click on things like that, huh? Oh wait, now I can't get it anymore. All right, forget that. Okay, let's see. Oh gosh, it's more than I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, stay on the runway. Stay on the runway. Ah. It's because the main landing gear is also actuating. I think I don't want it to do that. Okay, up, up. All right, I'm using the joystick now. But I need to get trim on my hat switch somehow. So, controls. The only way I know how to do trim is like this right now. Okay, that seems... Okay, negative is up. It's practically flyable. I'm gonna try and land it this time. So yeah, the flap control is apparently a... Whatchamacallit? an axis instead of a button. I think we need two buttons. We need a flaps up and flaps down button. Would be good. And then we also need a trim up and trim down button. And then I can use my hat switch for like both, maybe. Uh, well, I mean, I could use all sorts of buttons on the controller, but. Okay, let's throw down here. I need air brakes. Would be probably good. I don't even know how to go inside the cockpit. <laughs> um, do you? V? Okay, V. Well, that makes sense. So I need to put some controls in here. I guess in here the HUD should probably be displayed up there. But then again, most planes have a alternate HUD down below anyway. So that's alright. It's okay for now, just having the HUD down there. I'm deliberately trying to slow down so that I can extend the landing gear and everything. 
I need some indicator in here whether I have the landing gear down. I mean, I'm at zero throttle here. I, I don't know what to do. I guess we can uh, extend the flaps, maybe. Let's slow us down somewhat. Landing gear. Well, that certainly slows us down. This view ain't great, though. Would like to shift myself up just a little bit. It's very SR71 to have this little bar in front of us, but if I can't lean to one side or another, I won't. I mean, I don't think track IR is usable with this right now. Uh, that would help, but I can't line up the runway very well in here. Maybe doing it from inside is not a good idea. <laughs> I'm having trouble with that, with that in the way. And the fact that my eye point is so low. Let me come around. Just based on wind direction, I should be coming in from this side. So. Interesting that the airfield area is its own different photo patch. And yeah, this time I won't be inside the cockpit. Maybe the bomber cockpit would be better for um, actually being able to see things. The, a C is follow. Okay, C camera follow. Fly by fix. Oh, I can do with this one. Follow follow is a fixed cam, I think. Maybe I'll just stick with this. Fly by is fly by. This is just loud, though. I can't change the angle on this camera, so. Yeah, come on, go down. Go down. Ah, uh, it's still bouncing. Can I turn off the engine somehow? Ah. Uh. <laughs> A bit dangerous. Uh, and brake turn. Uh, uh, oh, scraping sound, scraping sound. Oh gosh. E Tail strike. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Oh. So, maybe I need air brakes. Maybe I need air brakes. Uh, let, let me see if I can move forward here. Well, the, the field is sticky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Suddenly this happened. Suddenly that happened. Oh, there's a lip here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wing broke off. Ow. Okay, bad things happen right at the interface between the airfield and the field field. Okay, let's return to hangar. So, how do I get air brakes? <laughs> um, does that count as lift? What is a lurks anyway? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, delete worked there. While we're holding it, delete works. There's like F15 sort of ends, but... Okay, maybe... Having the engine be weaker at idle would be good? Idle throttle. Oh, here we go. Idle throttle. Let's say... Zero. <laughs> Let's say 10%. That would help. Okay, let me see if I can fly it and land it now. Uh oh. The engine doesn't seem to be on. No, why? Landing gear. Well, 
see now this is getting to be a problem because the wing actually is pretty far back. Maybe I should just have the landing gear further out. Like much further out. So it retracts into the wing instead of the body. But we would need a bulkier wing in theory. Uh oh! Um. Hmm. I'm beginning to wish I hadn't actually saved the craft at this point. Um, is it because maybe I should just uh, pick it up and parent it to the wing directly? Maybe it's because it was attached to the body and tweaked out. I don't remember if I did that or not. Okay, well that's a theory, but the engine was still quitting on us. Increases value if the engine shuts down at zero throttle. The engine's shutting down even when I have more than zero throttle. We'll try 25%. It's getting more and more violent. It's getting more and more violent. Well, okay. So, but we didn't lose all power in the engine. <laughs> I mean, um, so my guess is the, the landing gear, either we're going to be tipped over onto our tail or the landing gear is going to explode or something. I don't know. So, um, if I really put it close to the body like this, is it going to be happier or not? Yeah. Putting the wheel closer in seems to be the deal, but now it's like right on the flaps, but again, it's better than it exploding, right? Okay, and our engine's still on, with lesser idle power. Oh, that happens though, because the wheelbase is so small. Okay, okay, okay. We need to find the happy medium where the wheelbase is wide enough so that we don't tip over. It's not going to explode. <laughs> a subtle, subtle thing. Uh, uh. Oh, it's tipping. Uh... Okay, I don't like that. Okay, first things first. I don't fly that far. We don't need that much. Hopefully this fill amount actually, yeah. I mean, it moves the center mass back, darn it. Uh, but but that, that might be okay for that bit. It's just the wheels might, eh, that's probably okay. That'll make us lighter, but uh, also wheelbase. And again, I hope it doesn't cause any problems, but. So you guys, brake torque. Well, why is it set to zero? See, <laughs> I want all the brake torque. All right. Yeah, I'm just on the main landing gear. Brake torque. I swear it, it defaulted to zero. Why would you do that to people? Okay, let's try a flight now. Will we have a proper flight for once? Up we go. I'll just keep the flaps at one, that's fine. We are not going far. It's really got too much power. I'm glad that sticking the engine inside a fuselage doesn't blow up the fuselage or something. Okay, we needed some serious pitch trim before. 
But yeah, engine is super OP, I think. Listen to its roar. No, not what I wanted to do. Uh, uh, come on, go down. Okay, brakes. Oh no, I'm up again. Okay, brakes, 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 brakes. Wow, we stopped on a dime right there. That brake torque is serious. All right, well. Well, there we have it. I think I have uh, managed to get brakes and set parking brake. Oh, well, it's still sort of producing forward movement with the parking brake on. But yeah, so there we have it. I think I have uh, fixed the issues with the plane and also my setup. It does involve me zeroing out the controls on my throttle quadrant. That's important, but that's okay. And now we can move on to other designs because I've fixed the ones here. I, I didn't feel right about not having landed the plane before moving on to a different design. But now we've landed it and I can say that we've got one good design here and we will try other things. Somebody suggested doing propeller planes. Their logic was a little bit flawed in that they said that propeller planes should come first. I mean they are sort of less complicated than jet engines but not... In, it depends on you know where you are at material science and really rocket engines should come first when you think about it but anyway I do think exploring propellers would be a good idea and so I will try that out next time I think so with that I'll say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time <laughs>